With help, lift the board into position and fasten to the wall. Ensure proper backing or support is in place and that the board is level. Install the copper length provided into the top fitting of the boiler system. Three feet is the suggested length, but this may be cut down if required. Connect the expansion tank using the copper pipe. Be sure to properly seat the copper pipe in the fitting. Fasten the tank to the wall with the included bracket. It is important to have sufficient backing in place and that the tank is level. Connect the PEX loops in your floor to the manifold. Be sure to identify the supply and return pairs. This can be easily checked by blowing into one end of the pipe and finding its mate. Cut the pipe to length, leaving a bit extra. Slide the nut and split ring onto the pipe. Ream the pipe and grease the manifold adapter O-rings. Thread the nut onto manifold by hand. Repeat for all supply and return pipes. Snug the manifold adapter nut with a wrench, but be careful not to over tighten. Open the manifold valves with an Allen key under the hex cap on the manifold. It will be fully open when it is flush with the top of the threaded seat. With the Allen key, close any unused manifold ports and cap the open ports. Open the manifold valves by turning the white caps counterclockwise. Close any unused manifold valves by turning the white caps clockwise. This would be a good time for your qualified electrician to connect your thermostat, low water cutoff switch, and if applicable, the optional outdoor reset. Have the electrician connect a temporary wire to the pump. This is so you can plug the pump into an outlet or extension cord manually to purge the system of air. We will explain further shortly. The electrician will remove the boiler cover. Remove the electrical punch out. Insert wire clamp and run thermostat wire. On the boiler, you will need to connect your low water cutoff switch and thermostat to the W1 and C terminals. Take one wire from W1 and connect it to the first wire on the LWCS. Then take the second wire on the LWCS 
and run it to R on the thermostat. Then run a wire from C in the boiler to W in the thermostat. Note, if using a different thermostat than what's typically supplied, refer to its user manual for proper installation. You are now ready to fill the system. Start by ensuring the drains are closed and air vents are open. Open ball valves to allow the system to fill. Remove the lid on the expansion tank. With a funnel, fill the system with water and glycol mix through the expansion tank. We suggest a 30 to 35% glycol water mixture for most systems. Check for leaks. Continue filling the system until the expansion tank remains at approximately two-thirds full. Close all but one of the loops on the manifold. Using the wire on the pump your electrician installed for you, plug it in to start the pump. As the air is removed from the system, it is normal for the expansion tank to burp and gurgle as air is purged. Open the next loop and repeat for all loops on the manifold. If water isn't moving, you may have an airlock. Try quickly opening and closing a valve on the pump flange. You can also carefully loosen the bleed screw on the front of the pump to release any air stuck inside it. After the system is purged of air, you may need to top up the expansion tank with more water and glycol. Call your electrician to disconnect the temporary wire on the pump. And connect it inside the boiler to the P and N terminals. Note, we have Thermolex Special make our boilers with 120 volt terminals for the pump. An external 120 volt power source is not required. The electrician can now connect the main power supply for the boiler. Reinstall the boiler cover. Put the lid on the expansion tank. Note, if your boiler is 15 kilowatts or larger, set the multi-fuel switch on the front of the boiler to electric. Once the boiler is filled and connected to power, your thermostat will have to issue a call for heat for the system to raise the temperature. You will not see the temperature come up instantly, but rather gradually over time. Open loop systems show very little to no pressure. Thank you for choosing Heat Innovations.